What up? It's your boy Dove Banger, live in the building. We're all here trying to do a Christmas sample flip. We all know when you go digging that the thrift store has hella Christmas records. So I got my fingers crossed. Hopefully it has some good shit in there. I'm going to show you the whole process of the video. I'm going to go in and grab the record, bring it back to the crib and body that. You already know how we do, baby. Let's go. You know, I was hella nervous going to the thrift store. I was worried I was going to get like one or two orchestra records and try my hardest to bang that out, you know? But we got a really good haul, man. The scratches add that grit to the record, boy. Standing there beside the whole thing, they gazed with all eyes. Standing there beside the whole thing. It's okay, man. When you hear that snap, crack a park, it's called character, man. Is Christmas only a tree with mistletoe? This one right now. <laughs> With mistletoe. It's <laughs> Christmas. It's Christmas only The Christmas carols The wolves ringing every, Ringing everywhere Oh, that is real Oh shit, that shit was crazy, man. Now we gonna hit the heart with this one. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna sign our samples to our pads. What the chops came out like. Christmas arrows. Now we're gonna go into pad bank C. We're gonna sign the same samples. As you can see, they're filtered. So this is just the bottom end of our sample. So what we're gonna do is you go to programs, drum one, go into your parameters and you'll see under filter, I have it set at 10. So that's the original sample. As you see, when you play with the frequency, 
It's going to bring out different depths of your samples, so you play around with it and you find the one that you like. In order to make them play together, go back to Programs, Drum 1, Assign, make sure your mode stands for Simultaneous, also play No. So if I have a sample assigned to this pad in the A bank, I'm also going to assign the same sample at pad bank C, so I don't get my samples confused. drum heads out there. We have our drum break. In your mixer you want to keep it stereo. You want to adjust your levels obviously if it's for a snare you want your high end and your mid range up and your bass down a little bit. For your high hat you want this up a little bit. For your kicks obviously you want a little oomph in there so you put your levels up and then you put the top one down. If you only find one usable drum snare or hi hat on a drum break and you want to have different sounding instruments from the same drum kit separate the left and the right channel and you're going to get two different hi-hats two different kicks and two different snares so you're going to separate those two drums and put them on two different pads we also have this snare layered with that give it more of a full snare but this snare is not layered with anything just to give you more of a natural feel kick we have layered with two other kicks so that's three kicks combined to give it the full range make sure it punches hard Just to give it more of a full sound. We're gonna to go to 16 levels and make sure velocity's on. And this is gonna give us different output levels. <laughs> 